serious lightning storm was raging outside on the midnight between July 9th and 10th, 1856. Jika Tesla was about to give birth to the baby that was going to change the world forever using his electrifying inventions. Nikola Tesla had a vision, a vision of what's to come into the future. Milutin Tesla was a righteous orthodox priest and took the ongoing storm as a bad omen, especially that during the birth procedure there was a great battle between thunder and lightning. He feared that young Tesla will become a child of sin, but awry he was of what he'll truly become. Contrary to her husband's beliefs, Jika Tesla foretold her son's future correctly. She reposted by claiming with all her essence that young Tesla will become a child of light, and he was about to tame lightning as prophesied. Ever since he was of small age, Nikola Tesla invented all kinds of toys to entertain his peers. As he grew, Tesla learned how to tap into his extraordinarily and until then latent abilities. He could hear a thunderer from 150 miles away and could see colors that most people could not. When his mother died, he saw a sky full of light, of soothing sounds and marvelous creatures. And one of those beings possessed familiar traits of his mother and was looking at Tesla with infinite love and compassion. With the gift of light bestowed upon him, Tesla then started shaping the 20th century after his own inherent understanding of the universe. Over the course of his life, he received more than 800 different patents. His out-of-this-world abilities allowed him to simply look towards the sun and understand the mechanism behind it and ways he could apply that knowledge using the means at his disposal. Looking at lightning, this fortunate birth omen, Tesla knew how to manufacture it. He often said before being struck by an idea, it came like a flash of lightning and in an instant the truth was revealed. This is one of the characteristics of Tesla that's really important, is that he was very good at coming up with sort of simple demonstrations to show people uh, what the possibilities were for the technology he was working on. During the 1893 World Expo in Chicago, he unleashed the power of lightning through a coil designed by himself, sending large lightning bolts towards the amazed crowd. What was even more bewildering was the harmful yet extremely effective alternating current passing through Tesla's body without harming him one bit. The crowd thought of him as a superhuman and although they were not far off from the truth, he was using a different type of electricity that was different than the other little invention of his rival Thomas Edison. Unlike Edison's direct current, Tesla invented the alternating current, which was extremely efficient. He assembled various generators and motors and transformers based on this technology, for which he held 40 US patents. A battle of ACDC began between the two, and Tesla was proclaimed victorious after his breakthrough technology had been acquired by industrial inventor George Westinghouse to be implemented across America. The gap between the two technologies was that Edison's direct current transformers required sizable power plants and thick cables, but those made by Tesla could be transmitted over exponential distances through thin wires and their intensity could be controlled using a simple switch. His dream as a boy of harnessing the power of Niagara Falls to create electricity was accomplished in 1893, where the first hydroelectric power plant was built, paving way to the electrification of the entire world. Well, he was a real pioneer. He had to team with uh, George Westinghouse to wire Niagara Falls. It was one of the first major applications of hydroelectric power in the United States and the world. And then they built a system around alternating current and delivering it to big cities, which made uh, a lot of things possible. Uh, big skyscrapers, 
uh, office buildings, uh, electricity, lights in the homes, and a raft of other inventions. Tesla is also credited for the invention of the electric motor present in every appliance in your house today. He also made the fluorescent bulbs, neon signs and the speedometers for automobiles. Due to the greedy nature of humankind, Tesla had to face many ordeals. Three years before Wilhelm Röntgen was credited for the discovery of X-ray radiation, Tesla had already discovered it and spoke about it extensively. Once he was offered $5,000 to enhance some ideas of Thomas Edison, but after doing so, Edison renounced his part of the bargain by claiming the deal was a mere joke. About the bonus, the $50,000. You said if I successfully designed a DC generator that I would get a bonus of $50,000. That was 000. a joke. How is that a joke? You obviously don't understand our American sense of humor. Among the many merit awards stripped off Tesla, we count the invention of the radio in 1893, for which Tesla received a patent, but in 1904, the award went to Guglielmo Marconi because the inventors backing him up were none others than Edison and Andrew Carnegie. After 29 years of continuously fighting to recognize his patent, Tesla had finally received hearing from the US Supreme Court, which determined that 15 out of Marconi's 16 patents were instead invented by Nikola Tesla. The Supreme Court ruled out in his favor, unfortunately one year after he died. He was a man so much ahead of the year he was born. At the start of World War I, Tesla suggested a way in which the Allies could track German submarines using waves of energy, the technology that later would become known as radar. Edison yet again dismissed his idea as absurd. During the same period of the First World War, Tesla envisioned a death ray capable of electrocuting entire armies and destroying tens of thousands of airplanes over a distance of 250 miles by hitting them with beams of concentrated particles. He believed that empowering every nation with such death rays, or peace beams as he dubbed them, would make them renounce war because of the fair share of mass destruction arsenal all of them would possess. JP Morgan was the first man contacted by Tesla to ask for funding to bring his project to life, but no deal was reached, so when the war had started, he delivered elaborate papers of the weapon free of charge to various allied countries fighting in the war.